Good morning everybody on this Sunday, August 4th. And I took my glasses off because I was getting some reflection, but I just realized that I should probably have them on because I have the house entirely to myself and I wanted to give you a quick tour of everything. Hold on, let me put my little uh, tripod on the bottom. All right, so I have the house entirely to myself because they all went to church because my, my husband's family is a different religion than I am. So, the and the children are my religion, but anyway, I'm not gonna go into that. So I'm gonna take you down to the first floor and show you the house, and then I'm gonna take you up floor by floor. So this is the entrance door, which is not actually shut. Wait, yeah, 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 nope, the door wasn't shut. Anyway, the door, there's a nice big window right here, and that's my sister-in-law's car, if you can catch it out there, but anyway, the door, and then I'm gonna turn the camera around. You come in, there's this nice little table here, and it's my hat. Over to the right is a side door, which is kind of nice, and that's a full bath, so that's nice too. So there's one full bath downstairs, and then come back to the main walkway. This is the garage. It's a huge garage. It's a two car garage. If you have a, like a small car, there's our car. But it goes the whole way up there and then to there. So you could pretty much, if you cleared out like all the stuff over there, you could probably pull our car forward and have my sister-in-law's car back here. And we both have SUVs, but I think it would work um, if, you, if you cleared out the stuff in the front. And then this is a washer dryer off to the right. And then here is a nice little like lounge area, well, like living space. Um, that goes out to the back porch, which I will show you, but I'm not gonna actually go out out because I'm in my pajamas. But there's a nice grill. That is the patio and porch area. And like that's the entire yard. On the side of the house, there is a outdoor shower so you can wash off all the sand. But living space, it's got a, a blu-ray and a tv down here so this is just kind of neat nice down here um all right now we'll, that that's the entire first floor let's go up to the second floor which is mostly bedrooms so i'm not going to go into each of the bedrooms because um you know people's stuff is in there but you come up to the top of the stairs that is the master bedroom it has a king bed and then it actually goes out to a patio out behind this wall and there's like a huge master bath and everything like that. This is a linen closet, nothing too exciting there. A, another full bath, so that's full bath number two. That is a bedroom and it currently has two bunk beds in it. This is a bedroom with a queen bed and then this is the room that John and I are staying in. Queen bed, another full bath, so that's full bath number three. All right, and then there's a TV in this room. There's also a TV in the master as well. So that's the entire second floor. Now we're gonna go up to the third floor. And you're definitely gonna get your exercise on the stairs here, that's for sure. So you walk up into the main living room area, which has a nice L-shaped couch huge TV, which is really, really nice. They were watching TV last night and it had a really nice uh, picture to it. Then there is a bedroom back here with two twin beds and the last full bath. So that's full bath number five. The only bath I didn't show you was the one in the master because like I said, that's my in-laws space. And then right out here, there is another patio. So like I said, right underneath this patio is the one that's attached to the uh, master suite. So that is that patio. And I showed you the, so that goes up to the upstairs patio, which I showed you guys last night. And then here is the kitchen. So it's got a huge table. This table fits, I think eight. Yeah, there's seven chairs and there's one in the corner. So there's eight chairs. This kitchen is beautiful. Um, not every cabinet is full of stuff. So here is actually refrigerators. John has adult beverages in there. Um, and then this is a, another like refrigerator door for, I guess like produce maybe. Um, and then here, actually, let me show you the whole section. That is what it looks like. 
And this is actually a pantry. Pull that out with a little bit too much force. This one on this side is a pantry, which we do have all of our snacks and stuff in. If you can spot all of the uh, keto snacks, those are my snacks. <laughs> Everything else is not mine. And then this here is the refrigerator freezer. So let me shut that the dink close the whole way. That is the refrigerator. We like a lot of water. Um, that's the refrigerator. And then on the bottom, those are both freezers. So freezer number one. Whoops. Freezer number two. So then moving on. That is actually a microwave, which I find interesting. I've never seen a microwave like that. Cabinets. So I'm going to actually show you. This is a drawer microwave. I've never seen anything like that. And actually, it opens and closes automatically. How cool is that, right? And the drawers are soft close. I think. <laughs> there it goes. I didn't push it hard enough. And then there's a bunch of appliances, cabinets. Like I said, not all cabinets are filled with anything. This stove, though. Oh my gosh, this stove. If I could have this stove, like, I might actually replicate this kitchen if I ever win, like, a big ma uh, mega ball or whatever lottery, Powerball, mega millions lottery, because look at this stove. It is beautiful. And then a huge sink, huge sink more cabinets that right there with the red light underneath it that is the dishwasher that whole section is dishwasher to the right of it that bottom is the garbage can so you pull that out and there's garbage in underneath there and then we're back oh the island i didn't show you the island so these just have like pots and pans in it so that is the tour of the house like i said i'm not going to go back upstairs to the uh, which I'm gonna call it the patio because I did show you guys that last night. I might try to show it to you on my good camera later, just not right now because I'm in my pajamas, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go back downstairs. I wanted to show you guys the house. Like I said, the only room I didn't really show you is the bedrooms um, and the master bath, which OMG, the master bath, beautiful, beautiful. So that's gonna be it for the house tour. I'm gonna to go ahead and finish getting ready. I think I gotta check the time. Um, it's probably pushing the time they're gonna come back. Now they did walk and it's about a half a mile from here, but my guess is that church is wrapping up right about now. Um, yeah, they're heading back now. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get in my bathing suit. I've already brushed my hair back, took my contacts out and now I just gotta get my bathing suit on. Uh, pretty much yesterday when we got here, we put all of the, um, uh, I don't know what he said. Uh, we Pretty much when we got here yesterday, we put all of the um, stuff for the beach in the wagon so that it was ready to go for today. I mean, I'm gonna double check it and everything, but I don't know that I'm gonna bring the GoPro. I am gonna bring my phone, so maybe I'll film a little bit at the beach on my phone. But. I'm gonna wrap it up for right now. I'm gonna get in my bathing suit and I will see you guys later. Bye. Well, I'm back in the bedroom. My hair is not happy with me for swimming so long. Actually, I only swim for about two hours in the water because the water was cold, very, very cold. Like it was so cold that, and I even had a long sleeve shirt on. It was so cold it actually started to sting my skin. Yeah, it was that cold, but it is a beautiful day. They're saying it's supposed to rain this afternoon, but I don't know that it's going to. Um, I did not end up filming anything at the beach because it was crowded. Like it was, it was crowded. We got there at just before 10 o'clock. It was about 940 when we got there. Um, we had a nice spot. We had a lot of space and we left the beach at like two, somewhere around two o'clock. Um, and, um, it was packed. Like, yeah, it was packed. Well, I just noticed that my case is broken. My cell phone case is broken. Can you see that flashing? Um, the cell phone case is broken. I had my cell phone with me at the beach. I'm not sure you're seeing my leg there. I have shorts on. Um, I had it at the beach and I had it in the one wagon and the wagon fell over and the chairs fell on top of it. So it looks like I'm gonna need a new cell phone case. That stinks. I'm gonna have to go tell John. He's not gonna be real happy. Anyway, not, I mean, he's not really gonna care. 
but he's actually probably gonna be more upset than anything. He's gonna be like, well, did I do something wrong? Is there something I need to do to fix it? He likes to fix things, so. It's definitely cracked though. And I don't think you guys can see it, but it's definitely cracked, so that really stinks. Um, anyway, I get distracted easily, you guys know that. Um, but it was really, really packed. We left there about two o'clock, came back to the, the house. We all showered and I was like, why is the water so cold? We figured out that the hot water heater is not on. There's no hot water in this house. So we did call the um, the realtor and they're getting a hold of the, the homeowner and hopefully they'll get it fixed today. Hopefully, if not today, then early tomorrow. But I wanted to check in with you guys. I know my, my video clip from this morning is super long and um, I came downstairs, but I need to go back upstairs because they're all kind of like chat and stuff. So I'm gonna head back upstairs. I'll see you later.